Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how to process button click uh, for the basic Android Studio application. So let's start Android Studio. So after starting Android Studio we will be able to create new project. So we press new project here. So for this purpose, uh, we will start with empty views activity. And we create uh, my first button click application. That will be the name of the application. So also here we need to uh, update probably package name. Yeah, if as soon as we put uh, my first button click probably at the beginning. Of the application my first button click dot st uh, number id dot org uh, it's not really important what you type on the left side and on the right side as soon as the main part in the middle of the project is st your student number number id so please leave uh, the rest of the options by default uh, minimum sdk api 24 uh, Kotlin DSL and press finish. Uh, you have to wait when the Gradle will finish to configure the project. After that, uh, you need to press uh, run project to make sure that uh, project is runnable. So we press uh, run up. Uh, select, uh, for example, Pixel XL API 27 that was here previously selected um, and run the project. Uh, hello world is displayed, uh, so that means we can uh, uh, go ahead and modify the project. Start uh, project modification. So selecting res, a layout, activity, main XML. You will see um, actual template for the layout we see here, hello world. So our goal is to add button to the layout and instead of hello world, uh, display number of clicks on this uh, specific button. So first of all, we go here and clear all constraints. So when you clear all constraints in the current layout, there is no uh, there is no any kind of connection with this text you to a left, right, um, upper and uh, low area. We can bring uh, here button by drag and drop button under this uh, text. So in this case, you see we have here uh, the button underneath and we would like to change the, uh, the text you value from the text hello world uh, from the attributes. It will be after this it will be uh, the text. So the text we would like to say here will be a zero and uh, probably text uh, size will be also a little bit more. Uh, for example, uh, maybe 24 single uh, pixels. So I just selected from the drop, drop down box and go back to design uh, and see what's happened. It's a little bit tricky how to play with this edit field. I might need some time to understand how it works. Uh, yeah, but uh, as soon as this uh, these two elements the same position, you can uh, play with that and then press uh, Infer constraint. So basically, infer constraints will help you to uh, attach elements to the to that layout, how they looks like this right now. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky for beginners, I know, but uh, let's run the project and let's see what's happened in this stage to make sure that uh, constraints are as you expected, right? Yeah, so it's not bad at this point to switch to the code here or maybe split or just simply code to see what's happened in the code level in XML. So we using constraint layout, open, close, and we have a text view and the button underneath. And you see here uh, the text view here has text size 24 um, pixels, uh, text is zero. So yeah, you can change it from here, for example, to 36 if you want. Um, and button is here also, uh, the text for button is button. We can uh, write on the button another name, uh, for example, click me. Uh, 
just to show you another way how to modify uh, the, lay the layout content. And another constraint uh, that was added automatically. So let's uh, switch back to design. And you see that updates right now available, the size is changed and the name, the title for the button. The next is to attach click listener to the button. So double click uh, on the button, uh, find attributes. And the button should be, uh, we have to find uh, attributes for the button. There is very important attributes is on click. So when you uh, find this, uh, attributes on click you will be able to add here the method you would like to attach uh, to this button I would write here on count yeah it could be anything you like press uh, enter so when you come in back to the code uh, button Android on click on count method you might be see here yes stay here for a while and maybe see here uh, the orange bulb on the left side so when you click or press alt enter you will see the options create on count view in main activity this is exactly what we need at this point so please press this uh, this on this text and back, go back to main activity so what's basically happened here so when you uh, attach on count method as a callback method for the button click processing, Android Studio automatically added you uh, uh, the method you have to modify. And this method will contain the actions required to uh, execute when a button click uh, will be um, initiated. Basically, when you press the button. I'll write here, so this method uh, will be called upon uh, button click so what we actually want we want uh, this method when this method to be called when you uh, press button uh, the number of uh, press will be uh, reflected in this text view so in this case we have to uh, create a variable of the number of button clicks and then this uh, value of this variable will be reflected on the text view uh, in this current layout all right so we uh, go here in in the class level, we create a variable count. So variable count will be created in Kotlin relatively simple. Var count zero. Please note we don't need to uh, add semicolon at the end. This is Kotlin. The semicolon uh, can actually can be added, but it's redundant. So we want first of all when the button is clicked to increment a count variable, right? So we will uh, choose count plus plus and again like no semicolon required then upon the click we need to change uh, text view value right text view value so first first of all we need to access text view from the kotlin file so one of the way uh, actually it's uh, maybe not the best way today but we will start with this one of the way is uh, to find id for the button and then uh, using find you by id to connect this button in kotlin but we need to know what is id for this text view so first of all we can id we can find id from here or we can find id from uh, uh, from this again uh, from this uh, design um, a property again when we just go to attribute and find here for example id and id will be also text it doesn't matter which way but probably uh, from the code it will be easier to find the text your id from here right so go back to main activity so we can initialize this value uh, value because this uh, variable will not be changed in kotlin uh, I mean, like the resource will not be changed uh, after identification, right? So let's say a uh, value for uh, display text. Uh, this is, will be the our resource uh, display text. So the type of this um, of this resource will be a text view, obviously, right? So importing statement will be automatically added. And they will be initialized by using uh, find view by ID, which is, uh, as I said, one of the oldest 
uh, method to access resources r.id.textview. So again, uh, this text view will be uh, exactly the text view, the, the same text view that we just see here uh, from text view from the layout, okay? So once it's done, we need to change the uh, display text uh, value that's connected to the uh, this display text. Uh, it can be accessed using text. It's a get text. And we can apply, for example, uh, we can get it count. Count is a variable. So the value for the count we want to assign to the text. But we see here the red bulb we are saying add to string to call. So why? Because count is actually uh, by default this integer and the text is a string. We need to add to string to this variable to, uh, to finish the statement. All right, so time to run the project and see what happened. Project is runnable. Uh, pressing click me will change the number of the clicks in the text view. So please uh, finish this application and uh, follow to-do list in class how to update this application with, uh, with more functionality. If you have any problems with this code, please let me know. I will be happy to help. Thank you so much and have a great day.